Joining me on the show at this point in time is Professor Madhav Nalapat, Editorial Director of the Sunday Guardian. Also joining us on the show is Ambassador Deepak Vora, former diplomat. Major Mohammad Ali Shah, Impar Media Panelist, is also joining us on the broadcast. And last but by no means the least, Sumit Peer, political commentator, is also here. Thank you very much, Mr. Malhotra. First of all, may I say welcome back after your recent bout with uh, Omicron. We are glad that you have recovered. Always a pleasure to be with you on NewsX, with Mohammed Ali Shah Sahib, with uh, Professor Nalapad, and of course with Mr. Sumit Peer. I can talk about Indian nationalism, but I've never heard of anything called Hindu nationalism. If I'm a Hindu and I'm proud to be an Indian, does that make me a Hindu nationalist? If a Muslim like Major Muhammad Ali Shah is proud to be an Indian. Does that make him a Muslim nationalist? Absolutely. Major Muhammad Ali Shah, before I go to Sumit Peer, you've been in this country long enough. You come from an illustrious background. Your uh, uncle is a reputed actor in the country. Your father has also been the deputy chief of the army. You yourself have enjoyed a number of accolades, unfettered ascendance into any uh, vocation that you chose. What is going on here with Hamid Ansari? You know, as a fellow Muslim, how would you describe his actions? Mohammed Ali Shah? Mr. Hamid Ansari has... Right, can you hear me? Yeah, go ahead. So, Mr. Hamid Ansari has... Right, Mr. Hamid Ansari has been an ambassador and high commissioner to so many countries and, in fact, uh, to tell you as vice president, what more can one any, anyone ask for? In fact, as Ambassador Deepak Bura rightly said, I, I totally echo his words, in fact, for someone of that stature and who has really enjoyed life thoroughly, I think it's best he should just retire and relax and play golf. There was no need to actually, poor thing, I mean, you know, I feel bad because he's a legend and I have known him personally very, very closely. In fact, my father was his defense attache when he was the ambassador in Saudi Arabia. So our bonding, and he was also vice chancellor of Aligarh Muslim University. So was my father. So we have that association with them. We have that person connect with him and I feel very sorry to see that you know his reputation when people are actually talking on debate panels and uh, his reputation is actually going down so the best is for Mr. Hamad Ansari to actually retire play golf there's no need to get into controversy for I mean, was, and at the end of the day what was achieved by this webinar if, if at all Mr. Hamad Ansari believes in that strongly what was achieved the fact is that now we had Veer Das going out in the country a few months back and talking rubbish about India. Now what was achieved? Why wash dirty linen in public? That to outside. It's not their matter. It's our internal matter. And secondly, one more observation. Rather, thirdly, one more observation I made beneath was Mr. Hamid Ansari has been a great orator. I have heard him talk. I have given, see, heard him giving best of speeches. Now when Ambassador Deepak Bora and or Professor Nalapat was speaking, they were speaking. They were not reading. So if you observe. Mr. Ahmed Ansari was actually reading. He wasn't speaking. So I really don't know who has penned down that script for him and whose words was he echoing or what. And uh, it's, it's, it's not something that somebody else must have penned down for him, Muhammad Ali Shah. You know, yeah. he's, he's been spewing poison against the country even before this event. You know, he's, he's thoroughly uh, peeved at, uh, you know, a number of things which have happened in the past. But, you know, he, he, he found an event like this to vent out his anger. He could have just spoken to the government or his friends in the political circles and, you know, try to make changes instead of going abroad and complaining. I was giving him the benefit of doubt, you know, before he gave his talk and when people were speaking, I said, let him speak first. He hasn't even spoken and we are making presumption that it's going to be negative. So let's wait and watch. That's what I was of the view because I've, I've known him like very, very closely. In fact, I spoke to him Ansari just two days back, in fact. So I felt that, you know, it was, we let wait and watch. It's still too early to make presumptions, in fact. So now, really, I, my heart goes out to a legend, to a person who has lived a very good life, a very fulfilling life, who can't ask for more. What Mohammed Ali Shah rightly said, he was reading from a text. That means he approved that thing. It was not even an extempore thing. You cannot say it was a burst of emotion. It just happened. Mohammed Ali Shah, you know, another thing that surprises me is that, you know, being the vice president, you would expect him to be smarter in his choice of platforms. He should have seen the antecedents proceeding to this particular uh, communion that hosted him. And secondly, Professor Nalabat also brings out a very important point. It's not the fact that, you know, he became the vice president. It's the fact that how did he get this far with this kind of a mindset? Mohammed Ali Shah, can you imagine a Dick Cheney or an Al Gore, you know, getting away by criticizing their own country, a country that gave them so much? Uh, well, Vineet, uh, if you hear any of Mr. Hamad Azai's speeches earlier, I mean, he would never talk this way. I mean, right now, even if his beliefs, and if he believes strongly in that, 
my question is hasil kya ho gaya wo webna karke what did he achieve with that webna what, even if he believes that there is discrimination happening there is a problem that's happening fine but was it solved was it resolved are the people in that organization are the us people going to be resolving his problems or is it the indian government if at all there is a problem at all i'm saying and i'm giving a very balanced view over here who will actually resolve the problem who will resolve the issue you have a problem with newsx so if you are for an example you know you are very happy with newsx thankfully so if you have a problem with, with newsx will you tell this to uh, uh, karthikeyan or will you tell it to somebody from z news i am giving an example so it's is as simple as that so i really and my heart goes out and as you said you are sumit that is he a legend as ali singh well i have always considered him to be a legend and it hurts me it really well, if i'm a traitor if i'm a traitor mohammad ali shah i will tell it to the party that has the most to gain i will tell it to somebody who is of course going to sell whatever i'm selling to the highest bidder mohammad ali shah 15 seconds uh we i i would say i would submit myself by saying that you know if you go to afghanistan if you go to pakistan if you go to iran if you go to any other muslim countries in fact the best countries for minorities not just muslim only for minorities is india actually and you cannot be uh, you try it in any other country and see what happens in afghanistan you see what happens in fact they in 1996 they hung their own president right so it is the best country is india and i would just say that and so far and, yes and and mohammad ali shah you are saying this and you were not even the vice president of india <laughs> basnavora mohammad ali shah professor nalapat sumit peer appreciate you taking out the time and speaking with us